A debate drama unfolding tonight in the race for Arizona governor after Democrat Katie Hobbs refused to debate Republican Carrie Lake. Lake was to appear by herself on PBS tonight, questioned by a moderator. Well, that all changed this afternoon when Channel 8, the PBS station, suddenly offered Hobbs a chance to also appear for a half hour solo, solo interview that would be held next week. While the Clean Elections Commission, which puts on these debates, says Channel 8 broke the rules booking Hobbs after she backed out of the debate. Fox 10's Irene Snyder joins us now live to try to sort all of this out. There have been a lot of moving parts today. Definitely, John and Christina, good evening. Definitely a lot of moving parts. This was the night when the candidates for Arizona governor were invited to face off in a debate. As you mentioned, Katie Hobbs refused to debate. Now, Carrie Lake says she's frustrated and upset that Katie Hobbs is still being offered that platform, being offered a 30-minute interview with PBS. This is a tradition that Katie Hobbs is single-handedly destroying for the people of Arizona. I'm not interested in being a part of Carrie Lake's spectacle or shouting match. After refusing to debate former TV news anchor and Republican candidate for governor Carrie Lake in tonight's Arizona Clean Election Commission debate, PBS still offered Democratic candidate Katie Hobbs a half-hour interview to air next week. They reached out to us and we responded. I'm not sure on their end anything that happened, but I'm happy to have the opportunity to talk directly to voters. And what's going on here is absolutely wrong. Now, I know, let me assure you, if the tables were turned and I had been cowardly and I refused to debate, then we would not have the same thing happening today. Late this afternoon, the Arizona Clean Elections Commission postponing Lake's 30-minute Q&A set to air tonight on PBS following the announcement of Hobbs' interview. The commission calls it disappointing, especially following multiple attempts on behalf of all partners involved in producing this year's general election debate to organize a traditional gubernatorial debate between the two candidates. Fox 10 spoke with Hobbs as she made calls to voters in Mesa today. Andy, this is Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. How are you? She says she's not interested in debating Lake. Talking to voters across the state, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, who are tired of the spectacle, and they want uh, someone who's going to get to work tackling the issues we're facing. Lake argues that Hobbs should not be rewarded with airtime after refusing to debate. You keep reminding the world that you're a coward and afraid to do a debate. She said I might yell at her. I would never yell at somebody. Only cowards would say something like that. And PBS also responding in a statement that it is their responsibility to provide access to the candidates so that the public can make an informed decision. And as for Carrie Lake, she is requesting or she's hoping that Katie Hobbs will debate her on Tuesday during the scheduled PBS interview time. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.